The Philippine Navy inspected the second frigates, the future BRP Antonio Luna, Monday, January 25, 2021 in Ulsan, South Korea. The Philippine Navy Technical Inspection and Acceptance Committee held their final inspection last 25 to 30 January 2021. The Philippine Navy said that the initial reports state that the BRP Antonio Luna is almost 100% complete and has satisfactorily passed harbor and sea trials. But due to the current COVID-19 pandemic, the Philippine Navy said that some training activities and integrated logistic support deliveries have been delayed. After conducting harbor and sea trials including actual ship inspection, the Department of National Defense and the Philippine Navy inspection team said to have approved for delivery and acceptance the future BRP Antonio Luna. The Department of National Defense, Philippine Navy Inspection Team and Chief, Defense Procurement Service, Director Leodegario de la Paz said that the inspection team found that the contractor is compliant with all its contractual deliverables and obligations. Philippine Navy inspectors led by Rear Admiral Alberto Carlos, declared future BRP Antonio Luna, built according to agreed technical specifications. Rear Admiral Carlos said and I quote, The second frigate has satisfactorily passed all vessel performance test protocols, moreover, we are happy to report that the Hyundai Heavy Industry has provided additional equipment and sustainment items, more training activities, and ship design improvements, which are over and above its contractual obligations. HHI's goodwill gesture has an estimated value of 7.4 million US dollars, unquote. The Philippine Navy disclosed the scheduled sale of the future BRP Antonio Luna. On February 5, 2021, FF-151 will sail out of Ulsan, South Korean and expected to arrive in Subic Bay, Philippines on February 10, 2021. A month ahead the original plan of delivery date, which is March 6, 2021. The official commissioning is expected to be held after the mandatory COVID-19 RT-PCR test and quarantine of officers and crew due to possible exposure to COVID-19. End.